Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon on my side from, from Luxembourg. I'm really sorry I couldn't uh, uh, join you in person uh, this time, but I really want to thank the organizers uh, for the opportunity to participate virtually and uh, to have uh, the, this very important discussion of, uh, of the event uh, really that fosters uh, and some is dedicated on, on topics to fostering regional cooperation, economic ties and, and, and solidarity. Uh, because as uh, as uh, the, my fellow panelists and uh, uh, the Minister of Finance of Kosovo said, we need to act together jointly in solidarity and joining forces in efforts. And this is something I truly believe uh, is the only way forward. And uh, I really hope that uh, the messages uh, and the, the, the discussion today will resonate beyond this event. Because as EU and the Western Balkans uh, uh, we need more than ever via uniting uh, our efforts uh, really to, to ensure a sustainable and uh, development and prosperous future in, the, in our EU family together, uh, despite the, the difficulties and challenges, uh, challenges we are all facing. And I believe that the European Union and all institutions, we have demonstrated our uh, on, on, on wavering solidarity to, to help overcome uh, uh, unforeseen challenges in Europe and beyond uh, during during past, uh, past years. Uh, and always the EIB, the European Investment Bank, which, uh, 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 which is part of, uh, we are a bank, but also we are an EU institution. Now we have been always there to support uh, uh, overcoming challenges over the past decade or offering different and flexible new instruments in order to to help countries governments local authorities and businesses to uh, to face this uh, to face these challenges you know during the sovereign crisis and uh, also during the pandemic uh, we the bank has turned into a counter cyclical economic policy instrument so that in times of liquidity deficit, we could uh, restart investments uh, in, in the region. Uh, of course, now we are teaming up with the European Commission uh, to, to implement the ambitious uh, Repower EU strategy uh, that is, uh, uh, that is uh, going to, to fast forward the decarbonization in Europe and, uh, and to help reducing the dependency of, uh, on Russian uh, fossil fuels. And, uh, and also we are looking forward now to see the, the, the forthcoming proposals on, on also specifically on the Western Balkan region, how to help uh, the, the region overcoming the consequences of, of devastating war in Ukraine, which, are, which led to, 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 cry, to energy, economic and crisis, and also to, to see what, what, what else could be done. Uh, I, and the pandemic showed that United Under Team Europe initiative uh, our action can be fast, can be broad-based, uh, and could bring a global scale Im impact in tackling the uh, one of the one of the worst healthcare crises in our recent hi history. And uh, we need to do, do to do the same now. And this is what exactly we are doing now, uh, facing the, all the crises which coming on top of each other. And uh, uh, that is why, and following this aspiration, we also land, launched uh, a special uh, new reinforced dedicated branch uh, of, we call it EAB Global, for all our operations outside of the European Union. Uh, and uh, our activity so far for outside the view was, was very pro strong and proactive, but now we, by establishing this branch, the uh, EIB Global, as a dedicated financing arm of our of the bank, uh, which, which provides more flexibility for us to, to adopt our instruments, uh, to increase our local presence, and also to make sure that we uh, have tailor-made support from, from with our experts in helping each country or region based on its uh, specificities. Uh, through this mechanism, we are providing significant support to Ukraine. Uh, we have already approved over 1.7 billion euro to address both the most urgent needs, but also helping and starting to rebuild the country. We have a mobilized package of 4 billion euro for neighboring countries uh, of Ukraine to host refugees. 
Uh, and uh, and our, under this new branch, of course, uh, we want to help the region uh, and all uh, regions around Europe to, to through the Global Gateway Initiative of the EU to mobilize some 300 million of sustainable infrastructure projects. And for the Western Balkans specifically, this means more resources to finance projects, more grants, and more experts on the ground who are fully dedicated to, to local projects. Uh, and we have, we, within this format, of course, we have already been able to increase our support for key infrastructure, transport environment, but also for key educational uh, projects and projects in support of, uh, of the private sector or supporting SMEs. Uh, we are providing technical assistance. I'm glad that we agreed uh, to support uh, Kosovo and the district heating system of uh, Pristina with special technical assistance to, to, uh, to, to build out the project as a strong one. We are, uh, we are now diligently continuing to support and to encourage uh, more innovation, digitalization and uh, uh, climate related projects uh, in, the, in the region. Um, and uh, now we are uh, preparing a special green credit line to support, for example, Macedonian business uh, businesses, which will be implemented in our cooperation with the Development Bank of North Macedonia. So these are uh, just a few examples on what, what we can do more in, uh, in the region. Of course, it is extremely important facing the challenges also to ensure that uh, decarbonization transition to uh, low carbon uh, economy is, a, is just and fair. So uh, we need to couple the climate objectives with also positive socioeconomic outcomes to prevent job losses and, uh, and to, to focus how to minimize the negative impacts uh, on most uh, vulnerable communities. And we will be doing this through our financing on one side, policy engagement, grants, and technical advice and knowledge sharing, which we are able to, to offer and to propose. And we already have some good examples like the, the urban transport project in Sarajevo uh, and uh, support for SME sector in the, um, in the region as well. Because uh, one of the key elements here is also to promote more energy efficiency, renewables and green practices, both in public sector, but also in SME sector, uh, which are still uh, not uh, sufficiently adopted among, for example, companies in the Western Balkans. Because the analysis shows that 60% um, of, uh, of total energy savings could be achieved indeed by in, in, less, in, uh, in less energy intensive uh, sectors. And in order to help mobilize more funds and expertise for all these initiatives, of course, uh, the, the partnerships and uh, joining forces is, is the be best way forward. We are teaming up with TBRD, with the World Bank on, on different projects. And uh, I believe that public-private partnership, partnership between international financial institutions is, is uh, indeed the best, uh, the best way uh, forward. Uh, because in order to finance, to finance and to support this twin transition, digital and, and, uh, and green transition, we need, uh, we need to team up, we need to help bringing the fiscal gaps for key infrastructure uh, and then private sector projects together. So, uh, uh, and this is, this is what we are really strongly committed to do, to do in the region. So uh, let me conclude here by saying that in, uh, in this, um, a uh, grave time for the world, for the region that threatens really to disturb uh, the, the very foundations of our lives and economies. Uh, uh, the only way forward uh, really to advance with all activities, uh, with, with, uh, with boosting and supporting economies and, and energy sector to overcome the challenges is that uh, we need to join forces to achieve it and, and, and we need to, to, to find the best synergies in all what we are doing. So you can fully rely on support by the EAB group, by the bank, by the, our fund and EAB Global, together with the European Commission, together with our five partner IFIs and with governments to, to move forward uh, in, a, in this very decisive moment for, uh, for, for the continent. So thank you very much for your attention. I want to apologize myself for not being able to stay longer in the panel discussion because we have this week our board meeting and I have a meeting starting just shortly. But my colleague, Konstantinos, 
uh, is online with me and he will stay for the rest of the panel to participate in the discussion and to answer any questions uh, which may arise. Thank you very much once again.